Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are talking foot birthday investing today. All right, we're going to talk about foot birthday investing. Can you buy any of these cards uh, in the really short term? We're talking like now, tonight with Week and League rewards. Uh, this video is going to go live just a couple hours before those rewards. So if you're interested in these cards, whether it's a buy for your team or a buy for an investment, um, I'm really interested in actually buying some of these cards, which I do think I will end up doing. Um, so we're going to talk through that some of, stuff, some of that stuff tonight and also talk about the new SBC that came out on Wednesday, which is the Team of the Week um, upgrade. I think is what it's called, Team of the Week upgrade pack. I want to talk about this. Is it worth it? Should you do it? And just kind of my thoughts around this and what this did to the market uh, on Wednesday in foot. So again, today is weekend league rewards. A lot of people played foot champs this weekend. I'm telling you, tons and tons of people played foot champions this weekend because of the extra weekend league player picks that were available in the objective section. Uh, and I think that's going to drive more people to play this weekend as well because a lot of people are on the game still, as we know, um, and it's just causing FIFA to be more hyped up. I do expect the market to rise after rewards. I've got a plethora of things on my transfer list that I'm going to be trying to flip. Uh, weekend league rewards flipping, a lot of informs, a lot of special cards, uh, some other golds here that are a part of, you know, uh, just the stuff that I was doing for upgrade SBCs. Possibly some icons as well. Some, a lot of this stuff I bought on Sunday, right? And I was planning this whole week that I was going to, I bought this stuff on the Sunday weekly sell off and then I was going to sell it later in the week, right? So I got these Ikones for like 230,000 coins, 227K. Uh, and now he's like 250, 260 pre rewards. I'm probably going to bump this, this relist price up to like 287 when I relist this later tonight, overnight for rewards, uh, because. Uh, that card is already back up to like 260,000 coins. So the big thing that we want to look at today, though, is these foot birthday cards, because right now we're about, you know, we're about five hours where I'm recording this. We are about five hours ahead of the weekend league rewards being released onto the market. And some of these cards are starting to dip in value because people are no people are realizing, hey, you know what? It's weekend league rewards time period. I'm gonna sell my cards, get my coins before rewards, and then um, and then go from there, right? That's what happens a lot of times on Wednesday nights. That's why I like to pick up a lot of my Thursday flips, literally, you know, five six hours before uh, rewards come out, because a lot of people are listening on open bid to just get the cards out of their club. A lot of the guys in the UK before they go to bed, they list their cards up, they get their coins, open bids a lot of times, and that creates some some areas for for profit. And people are just listing their cards in general. I want to talk about which cards out of this team I'm the most interested in. Card number one that I'm the most interested in is Douglas Costa. 546k, basically the cheapest that this card has been all week. Of course, we, we knew last Friday the, the whole price range debacle with this card being extinct at 750, going up to like 1.4 mil. Um, and then, you know, it went down a lot throughout the course of this week. And I feel like we got this price correct when I said this is somewhere around a 500k card. Um, the lowest that I had seen this man was Sunday night, 550. And then today, uh, he's been, you know, 550, 560 dropping into the 540s tonight. So the, the big question here is, and the, this is the biggest scenario, right? Whether you buy right before rewards, uh, when this guy is, you know, maybe 540,000 coins, or you try to pick up a snipe during rewards after rewards is released, um, for a card like this, I think that's your buy time. You want to buy this earlier. So earlier rather than later, because I think this card has a lot of hype. 15,000 games played in five days of this card being out of the game. That's a lot, right? That's second to Lamar, I believe, out of all these, of all of these. Uh, and Lamar only has been beat because this is a cheaper card and it has more supply on the market with 18,000 games. So these are two of my favorites, honestly. Uh, I like the Brazilian left mid. I mean, before five star, five star Brazilian left mid, you've got Bale, and, or excuse me, not Bale. You've got Neymar. And that's kind of your only option, right? Now you have another option with Douglas Costa. I'm a big fan of this card. I do think it will rise back to 600K at some point this weekend. Um, so I'm going to try to snag one or two of them. Maybe if I can get like 530, I would love to see that. I would love to see 530. I will not be awake for weekend league rewards, but if you're going to be awake and on the market during rewards, that could be an option, right? This is what happens a lot of times with these big, you know, the, the more rare, the, the more expensive cards, they're usually a buy 
pre-rewards in the panic sell because they don't get packed much and more people want to go out and buy them, right? So this uh, Lacazette, if you can snag him uh, as close to a million coins as possible, I don't know what his lowest recorded price on Footbin is, last night 1023 so this guy's probably popped right around a million coins i think this card will easily be 1.1 mil uh tomorrow tomorrow evening after rewards right again french 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 there's a lot of france links um in this team that i think we need to pay attention to and i think those cards are going to rise very well this gareth bale right he hit a low of last night at like 1.7 that was a freakish low time he has usually been around 1.8 I just saw one go at 176 uh, while I had the screen flipped, and uh, that's not a bad price at all for Gareth Bale. But this Lacazette interests me as well. If I could snag one of these at like 1.01 or as close to 1 million coins as possible, I would be very interested in him. Um, but yeah, I do think these cards will rise out of packs. If we take a look at set one, if we take a look at team one, these guys have absolutely ballooned. Now, I know that team two maybe isn't as hyped as team one, but... There's a lot of cards that have just gone up in price a ton from this set um, that, you know, weren't the forefront. Kylian Mbappe is 5.7 million coins. That's a million coins higher than what he was at his lowest. That's insane. Rashford's 155, Havertz 393, about the same. Suzoko 900, Lozano's up, Hernandez is up. St. Maximin was 1.2 million while he was in packs. He's now 1.6. Griezmann's up 200k. Hazard's up 150k. Uh, Muniain's up a little. Cancelo is up like 30, 30k-ish. Um, a lot of these cards have risen. And again, if you take a look at what cards have risen, French, right? All the French cards have risen. Um, if you look at Premier League, right? All the Prem cards, Rashford's about the same price. He hasn't risen as much. Cancelo with the Premier League links has risen. The only cards that haven't risen that much are just ones that aren't as popular or, or OP. Like the Correa hasn't gone on much, the Guerrero, but you wouldn't expect those two, right? You wouldn't expect those to go that up, up that much. So which ones am I expecting to make the biggest and quickest jumps from this seat, this team? Um, for a couple reasons, I'm going to pick... Let's say I, I'm going to pick my top three out of this set that I think are going to rise the most as an investment opportunity, right? As a return on investment opportunity. I think they will all rise, but I think a couple of them will rise the most. Number one, Douglas Costa. I think he will rise the most. Uh, I think he'll be over 600,000 coins. And depending on how much hype he has compared to what the Team 1 hype was, and if we get a promo this weekend, that would also hurt some of his rise. But if there's no promo, the market just rides up this weekend, I can see this being 650k um, at its max. I mean, that may seem a bit crazy, uh, but the second weekend as well. Maybe he's out of packs for a week, and not this weekend, but the next weekend. Closer to 700k is not, not too far off, in my opinion. I also think this Virgil van Dijk is going to do very, very well. If you can get this guy for around 1.2 mil as close to 1.2 as you can. Um, there's a really big gap, not a huge gap, but he got a pretty nice upgrade over his 92 rated inform. He broke the 80 pace barrier, which is big um, for a card, and that's why he's 1.2 million versus 900K. And then after that, you have this 3.9 million card team of the year. So there's a big price difference between these two, and I think that this foot birthday card will be 1.5 million coins again uh, very soon. I think he, I think we'll go back up to one five. I honestly do. The five star weak foot is nice. Uh, but I think it's just the 80 pace and, um, the, the decent stat upgrades that he's got at least 1.4 because this is a very rare card as well. I think he's going to rise pretty well out of packs. Um, and then, you know, I think tail Hernandez is going to do well too. This dude has maintained a really, really solid price this entire week, 400,000 coins. If you see this guy dip into the three hundreds, that is a buy from me again, only 20,000 coins of tax here. If you buy them at 400K or, or under, that's a big one there. So I do think set two will rise nicely out of packs. Um, I think Lamar will go to 130K, which isn't bad, you know, for the amount of tax and how much you'd have to pay for that card. But again, the things you should be looking for tonight, right? Like I'm looking at Douglas Costa. I'm looking at Douglas Costa. What is stuff that you want to look into? And what is stuff that you want to pay attention to when you're trying to mass invest uh, or even just buy one? Of cards from a promo team that are in packs. What you want to see is you want to you want to watch the open bids tonight, right? The open bids. This Douglas Costa, his cheapest on the market is 545, and this one with a bid of 545 and a buy now of 548 is expiring. That shows me that there's not many people buying at the moment. I think I had a couple open bids. 
that I was watching on Douglas Costa as well. Yeah, they're right here. So 5.30, wow. Okay, so that one went for 5.30. What did this one go for? 5.40, 5.36. So there's a couple of them in the 5.30 range. That makes me want to buy this card at like 5.30s and 5.20s. If I see that on Douglas Costa, I'm a fan. I'm a fan in that range on that card right there. Let me go look at Van Dyke too, just, just to check. Um, I don't want to buy a ton of these cards. I wish I could slot. I mean, Van Dyke could kind of go into my team, but... Um, you know, are there any cards in this team that I would recommend going out and, um, you know, breaking the bank for? Like, would I go out and buy 100 lasagnas? I don't think I would do that. Um, lasagna's got a really high pack weight. Do I think it's a decent value card? Uh, and he, has he dropped a lot today? Yeah, a lot of people are using this card. Uh, but he's going to get packed a ton, man. This card's going to get packed a lot. And it's not Prem. It's not French. I just don't know how much hype there is for this card. People say he's very good. Flippin says he's 139,000 coins, so I don't know what's up with that. But uh, people are saying this card is very good. I'm not entirely sure how much it's going to rise out of packs. I just think it's going to be an okay one, right? I just think it's going to be okay. Maybe if you see this on the X or on the PlayStation at like 130, and on the Xbox at like 110, if it gets hit with rewards uh, and it goes down another, you know, 10%, then I would be interested. Uh, in this card but this is also one of the most popular cards used this week in foot but again right before weekend league rewards just take a look at the, the panic right if you want to get yourself a d maria you want to get yourself a d maria for your team uh, i know a couple people have mentioned to me that they, they want to try this card out right how much is d maria 980 975 970 right and we have a bid at 970 here which is kind of holding this price up not a lot of people are going to undercut that uh 970 barrier because they see this bid um with a buy it now you know what this guy's probably gonna rise out of packs too maybe back up to like one mil 50 uh is would be you know my kind of thought process on that one but again this is your night to buy them right if you're watching this video and it's after rewards and the prices have already started to go up a bit already you know what i i still wouldn't be too afraid of it i still would not be too afraid i think they will all be higher next week just with the way this market is um, and this team of the week SBC right here, this had the potential to drain a lot of coins off the market today. And I don't think that it's going to, I don't think this is going to drain a lot of coins off the market because there's, it's not an 81 plus team of the week upgrade, right? You're, I'm seeing a lot of people do these and get 75, 76, 77 rated team of the week cards. And that really does not, that just turns people off to this SBC, to be quite frank. That just does not make people want to do this Team of the Week upgrade SBC when they are getting 77s and 78s out of it. I haven't seen many good pulls, a couple 85s, a couple 86s, but it's just pure SBC fodder. So um, this is out for five days in total, four days and change remaining. That makes me think that we might not be getting a promo this weekend since they've left this out for this long. Um, so that kind of interests me that that SBC has been left out for this long. The mid icon upgrade um, is out for eight more days as well. So basically another week from Friday. That's another reason why I, I don't think we're getting a promo this weekend. I think EA are just going to let these SBCs ride out for most of next week. I know there's not going to be a ton of SBCs, um, but uh, the mid icon, of course, we have... Um, some of these other upgrade SPCs will be out for a few days. So I, you know what? I don't know if we get a promo this weekend. I really don't know. This would be like the time frame of when we would have gotten team of the knockout stage. Um, but obviously there's no Champions League going on. So um, I don't know about a promo this weekend, boys. I really don't know. Unless we see something today on Thursday that is like a leak or something in the pack code. I'm going to say for right now, I don't think one's coming. That's just my personal opinion. Anyways, back to the 83s. Yesterday in the video, I told you to sell your 83s in the hype. This is technically their hype right here. They did boom up immediately after the SBC was was out as a whole on the market. They boomed up. Um, the SBC only required 40K, so that helped out a lot of these cards like we were looking at last night on stream. Illa Remendi was 2.2K last night on stream. Right now he's 1.9. Uh, and this is the stuff that happens with 83 investing. You have to be one of the first ones in. Um, because right now, what the, the market's at 98 points. Uh, we are lower tonight than we were last night. Um, this SBC was released, I think, right here, maybe? Maybe right here at 103? That's when uh, the the, uh, the pack code came out. So we went from 102, 103, all the way up to 113. It boomed up to 120 an hour after the SBC came out, and now we're all the way back down. So these 83s are going to keep going lower. Um, 
you know, if you bought 83s and you made profit, GG's. But again, this is what happens a lot of time when an SBC doesn't have the hype. It's almost better to take the guaranteed money and sell into that hype. Um, there was a little bit of a rise after the SBC came out, but um, that was not a crazy amount. I want to talk about this team of the week moments as well. Some of these guys are actually a little bit on the cheaper side. Sun is 1.3 mil after his 90 rated inform uh, was around 1.1 to 1.2 this last weekend, I think. 90 rated sun wasn't he 1.2 last friday almost yeah yet yeah, 1.2 on saturday uh is now dropping off because of the new team of the week sun um but i don't think this card has dropped enough i really don't and i think this sun I, I know it's a small upgrade um but i really think this sun if you see this card under 1.2 maybe like 1275 tonight of rewards i could be very very interested in that and for an xbox price range on this maybe like 950 for the new one and then maybe you know i still want to see this one drop on the playstation it's dropped enough on the xbox hasn't dropped enough here um but i feel like this team of the week might have been hit with some extra supply today and more people selling it uh because of the sbcs that came out a lot of these 84s are legit discard lejajic discard value right now hugo malo probably a good one to pick up at discard as well chuck it in the club this is an sbc fodder uh in form as well but again the uh the team of the week SBC that came out today, I don't think it's going to affect the market that much. Of course, it's repeatable and it's a coin drain. It has the potential to drain coins off the market, but I don't feel like it's going to do that much because it just doesn't have the hype to it right now. It doesn't have the hype. Uh, it doesn't have anything to do with foot birthday. We didn't get any player SBCs this week. After we got SAR, we literally have gotten no other player SBCs this week, right? Is that is that true? Except for the oldie but goodie. Man, this second week of foot birthday was just kind of a letdown, boys, to be honest with you. It was more of a letdown uh, than it should have been. I think week two should have been at least uh, better than this with more player SBCs. But it is what it is. Um, and hopefully today we find out if there's anything coming this weekend. Um, I saw a couple cool concepts on Twitter uh, for some people that were possibly shouting out like a, you know, I've been doing like the team of the week moments. Maybe they would do some sort of uh, a new card design and they would throw cards in packs that were like uh, Champions League moments, right? I did see some people talking about that. That would be cool. If they did something like that, do I think it's going to happen? Do I think it's possible? I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't bank on it by any means. Um, but uh, that is something that I guess could come. So just keep that in mind uh, today. When you're looking for the content at 6 p.m. UK today, I haven't seen anything that's been thrown into the pack code, nothing new that we know about. Uh, so you know what? There's no not, not a lot of surprises. Not a lot of surprises for today on the FIFA market, to be honest. Should be just a nice rising day after rewards. If you did make your weekend league rewards investments like I did, I've still got $4 million left in the tank uh, to put into cards tonight. Hold those, uh, I'm, hold them I'm past 6 p.m. UK. Hold them until Friday if you really need to. Uh, you could sell them Thursday night if you wanted to, or you could even hold on to them Friday night if we're not gonna have a promo uh, and we don't know anything about a new promo because these cards will probably just rise into the weekend as people do play weekend league. There's people on this game. And uh, of course, they're gonna wanna try out some of these new foot birthday cards. So again, if you're looking at foot birthdays, Keep an eye on their prices tonight. Watch the panic selling. Watch the open bids. Again, you're going to see tons of these open bids on the market at the 59th minute as people pack these cards and or they're selling them right before rewards. Uh, and you'll probably see a lot of open bids as people pack these cards at rewards as well. So um, again, Douglas Costa, um, Teo Hernandez, Van Dyke, Lacazette, Di Maria. Those are kind of my favorites. If you want to get yourself like a Pogba, um, use Mbappe as an example of how much this Pogba card could go up. I think this Pogba card will be 3 million coins uh, very, very soon. What is he? 2.267 uh, right now. Check this guy out at rewards. Uh, if, you, if you could get this on like a 2.6 mil or below on the PlayStation, and then maybe it's somewhere like, um, what is he on Xbox right now? Xbox, he's 219. So maybe like 2.1 flat or below on the Xbox. I don't know if that's super crazy or not based on the graph. No, that doesn't look crazy. Yeah, that's not crazy at all. 2.1. You could you could, you could very possibly see that. Yeah, it's very possible. If you see like 100k undercuts in this Pogba, uh, this guy is going to boom. This guy is going to boom out of packs. If Again, if set one was any relation to what's going to happen to set two, um, even though set two may not rise as much, I do think this card is going to explode out of packs and be 3 million coins at some point this weekend just because he's rare. This card is very, very rare. 
and uh, he's desirable, right? This is the Pogba card you'll be using this year. Uh, and it's crazy to think that I have him in my club, first owner, untradeable. Wow, still can't believe it. Still cannot believe that I got that card yesterday. But I do expect basically all these foot birthdays to rise up today in price. So get in while the getting's good, okay? Before rewards, watch the panic sell, watch the open bids, and see what you can snag for some of these cards. Look at this, man. All these open bids before rewards. It's crazy. It's fun. Get on the market, make some buys, and make some profits selling after rewards. Take your time selling again. We're not expecting a promo, so take your time selling again, all right? I will catch you guys in a video tomorrow. If we get any more information on what's coming, if we get a loading screen or anything like that, I will be here to talk about it. Good luck with your weekend league flips. Let me know how they go. Uh, see my Twitter in the description. Send me pictures, screenshots of your companion app, of your sales, whatever it may be. I would love to see those. All right, boys, thanks for watching. Like it if you enjoyed it. Subscribe and comment down below if you have any questions. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.